Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski. Welcome to my Johto EV training guide. A lot of people have asked for this guide, but I need to preface ahead of time. Johto is not a very good region for EV training spots. A huge reason why is that the level curve is a bit lower overall since they wanted to allow you to have a little more option in your gym order. If you search for Johto EV training locations on the most popular EV training forum guide, which has been updated with new Johto hordes, you literally only get one recommendation. There is only one horde within Johto that people even consider worth using. However, some people may still want to go to this region and use it. There's still some decent slash usable spots here if people want to go for that rainbow quill pickup chance. I also want to preface that I personally ran around the region and tested for all of these spots as there's not really a good guide out on this. So liking the video and subscribing to show support and appreciation for that hard work, if it's helpful to you, is super appreciated. Well, let's go ahead and jump into this specific guide. As per usual, when EV training, you want to have either a bunch of XP shares. I usually have five or at least one XP. We only need one XP reamplifier. These should both put EVs on your party. And then you also are going to need a Pokemon with Sweet Scent and make sure you have that PP max as it's going to be wildly more efficient. You need some sort of AoE Pokemon. Different spots are going to need different types of AoE attacks. Some spots you'll want Earthquake. Some spots you'll want discharge really anything can work surf as long as it works for that specific location now i promise to have at least one location per each stat as there are six stats in pokemon which you can ev train being hp attack defense special attack special defense and speed we're just going to go in order starting with hp now, I'm going to be totally honest, the only HP stat that I have managed to find is to the east of Mahogany Town. So fly to Mahogany Town here, head east, and we are going to have to run through a little bit of grass. If you head over this bridge, we're going to loop around a little bit and then come over here and then surf across over to this little grassy area. Not super close to a PC, and you do have to go through a little bit of water, but it's not too bad either. You'll end up finding times 5 hordes of Lickitung here, which are going to give you 10 HP EVs per horde. These also give pretty decent XP as Lickitung just gives decent XP. They are a little on that lower level curve like I talked about at level 30. And some people like myself do like Lickitung or Lickalicky as a shiny. So honestly, not a bad spot at all. The main downside is that it's kind of far from a PC. Unfortunately, this is the only HP spot that I've been able to find. If you have any other recommendations for these spots, make sure to leave comments down below. Now on to attack EVs. There's two different spots that I've been able to find with attack EVs. The second one is kind of pushing it. I don't usually do spots where you have to avoid uh, one of the Pokemon slash one of the hordes, but we'll cover the first slash better spot first. We want to start your place in Cyanwood City, and we do have to make quite a little bit of a path from the PC, but if you get your pathing right with the new bike buff, uh, it actually can be decently quick so we're gonna start heading over to the mill tank area and then follow my path and we'll see so you want to start in cyanwood city head up to this cave pathing good here is gonna be really important thankfully you cannot get encounters in this cave so there's actually no encounters on the way to this spot but it's a little far from a pc right here you're gonna get times five hordes of kingler and times five hordes of machoke so here in cliff cave times five kingler times five machokes so they'll both give 10 attack evs per horde uh not a bad spot kingler is a shiny that some people enjoy it's kind of growing on me personally not my favorite machoke and machamp kind of the similar situation here is a machoke horde just to catch that on camera there you go so kingler and machoke are there and this is the best attack spot that i've found so far it's also important to note that EV training spots should be able to be trained without needing Lepa Berries. I think a huge part of EV training is having that access to a PC. That's just my thoughts personally. If you guys want a Lepa Berry inclusion EV training guide, let me know in the comments as well and I can try to do that for you. But let's go to our next attack EV training spot. And you'll notice some of these spots end up being pretty late game. I've tried to keep them earlier game if possible. But once again, you encounter that issue where you're not going to find times five hordes of plus two evs per horde early game in pokemon because if you a player were to accidentally run into a times five horde naturally which you can do without popping a sweet scent if you have a level 25 pokemon and you're against level you know a horde of 35 mantines like you're gonna get demolished so for storyline balancing all the times five hordes that give plus 10 evs end up being late game but really if you want to be ev training for a storyline you shouldn't be doing it during the storyline you should either do it ahead of time or be traveling back to a previous region to ev train 
All right, but enough of the little general tips and tricks. We're going to start here at Mount Silver, and you do have to rush over this grass and head inside the cave. And then once you're inside the cave here, this is a weird attack EV training spot. You'll get times five hordes of Machokes, which is really good and really good XP. However, this is 50-50 with Machoke and 50-50 with Graveler. Gravelers give defense EVs. So if you want to attack EV train here, you have to just run from all these Graveler hordes. And that means paying a lot more attention, which is also something a lot of EV trainers don't want to do. EV training should be pretty brain dead, should be pretty uh, monotonous. If you have to use your brain and think while EV training, is that really a good location? That's a question that you guys have to come to on your own conclusions. All right, but next up, we have two pretty cool spots, actually, for defense. Defense EVs probably have the coolest spots, in my opinion. Uh, let's go ahead and start at Indigo Plateau, the Elite Four. We're going to go to this Sand Slash spot. This is a really simple one. Uh, it's going to be 100% chance for times five hordes of Sand Slash. Surf these bad boys down. They're going to give you plus 10 defense EVs per horde. Really simple, solid spot. This is also a great shiny hunting location. Previously, if you wanted to get a shiny Sand Slash, you would go to the Victory Road at Kanto, and that would would be 50% Sand Slash, 50% Marowak. So now that you can just 100% hoard for Sand Slash, that's awesome. This is a great shiny to pick up. Keep in mind that if you are uh, EV training at any of these locations that have a Pokemon that could use Explosion, maybe you want to have a damp Pokemon on you. Or if you are EV training in a cave at all, it's probably nice to have a damp Pokemon on you just in case. It might be worth getting a Alpha Parasect or a Hidden Ability Access Parasect because then you can have a Pokemon. If you have a Parasect with Hidden Ability Damp, you can have a Sweet Center with Spore and False Swipe, also with Damp Ability, all in your party at the same time. So that pretty much does everything. Now make sure it does have one sort of KOing move so you can actually take out the Horde to catch the Shiny. So you could do Sweet Scent, Ball Swipe, Spore, Damp Ability, and then Seed Bomb. All right, now next up, I do have a backup spot for defense EVs if you don't want to do Sand Slash. And this one has a pretty interesting shiny, but you definitely want to have a damp Pokemon for this location as you'll also be encountering Gravelers. But... This actually has Gligar spawns. Now, the downside to this location is that Gligar hordes only give you plus 5 EVs per defense. So you are, you are going a little slower. Uh, Graveler should give you plus 10, but Gligar does give you plus 5. So start there in Blackthorn City, bike down to this location. Really easy to get to. You can just fly back or teleport back and you'll get times 5 hordes of Gligar and times 5 hordes of Graveler. Now, once again, you only get 5 EVs. I have five EVs from these hordes and then 10 from the Gravelers. 10 is really good, obviously, but five from these is lacking. But a lot of people like Shiny Glygar and or Shiny Glistor. So I definitely thought this spot was worth noting. And now on to the best EV training spot in all of Johto, pretty much by far. Special attack, Mahogany Town, times five hordes of Flaffy and Girafferig. A lot of people want Shiny Flaffy. A lot of people want Shiny Girafferig. They're both incredible Shinies. You can bike up here. It's pretty freaking close to a PC. Pop times five hordes, and bam, there you go. Plus 10 special attack EVs per horde and just two incredible Shinies to take your chances at. People have literally been waiting for a good Mareep slash Flaffy horde for years, let alone this horde also giving you a chance at Girafferig, which is also a pretty beloved shiny, but pretty underrated. It's just a phenomenal spot. And I think you can really tell by how many people are here, either shiny hunting or EV training. This is really the only special attack spot you should need. So let's go ahead and move on over to special defense. Now, the one good special defense spot that I've been able to find in Johto, once again, if you have other recommendations, I'd love to hear them, is over at Cyanwood City, super close to the PC, literally right next to it. Perfect example of a pretty interesting, easy peasy uh, EV training spot. We have Mantines here. These give special defense. You definitely want Discharge for this Pokemon. It's four times weak to Electric, so it should be pretty easy to KO if you do have a Discharge Mon at high-ish enough levels. Discharging now these Mantines, pretty similar to Undela Bay, Undela Bay in Unova a really simple and solid EV training spot. Now, moving on to speed, I actually have three different EV locations for speed, but they're all Poliwhirl, which is really funny. So Poliwhirl is a really common shiny Pokemon you'll see uh, in the Johto region, which is honestly a good thing because shiny Poly Toad and Poliwhirl. Poliwhirl is actually my second favorite in that whole line. So it's going to be a good spot to go ahead and come hunt. So we're saving this for EV training. So here at Mount Silver, you can head to this little water pool and go ahead and sweet scent and you'll find times five hordes of Poliwhirl 100% of the time. And these will grant you, it should be 10 uh, speed EVs per horde because it's plus two each, I believe. Yeah, so 10 speed EVs per horde of these, a really easy spot. And there's two more Poliwhirl spots that are worth going over if you're earlier in the game or you can't access Mount Silver. 
any EV training location that required Mount Silver, I really tried to find a backup location because obviously to get to Mount Silver, you have to have the complete Pokedex as well as uh, all the Elite Fours done. So it's a pretty big barrier to entry. Our backup, one of our backup Polyworld spots is here in Blackthorn City, the same place where you go to Dragon's Den. You essentially just come up here to the water, surf, and go ahead and pop a sweet scent, and you should find times five hordes, 100% chance of Polyworld. Same exact thing as the Mount Silver spot, but much less XP. If you have access to the Mount Silver spot, you definitely should use that, but this is a super solid backup for those who don't. There is one more Polyworld spot that I want to cover pretty quickly over at Route 44. Now make sure you start in Mahogany Town and not from Blackthorn City when going to this location, but if you bike up east from the PC, you should be able to head right here, I believe, and you should be able to encounter times five hordes of Poliwhirl. Once again, tons of Poliwhirl locations, lots of great options for whatever stage you're at in the storyline or wherever you want to hunt in Johto. All right, but I believe that is everything. Hopefully this gave you guys some cool locations to EV train at, XP train, and shiny hunt all at the same time while in the new region. I totally get why it's fun to EV train within the new region and sort of go for those new shinies. I know I kind of shit talked it a little bit, but I'll be EV training in Johto as well. So don't feel like a fool for doing it. Uh, there may be some other optimizations or other benefits to EV training in other regions, but man, Johto is a fun time. So hopefully this video has also been a fun time and it has been helpful or mildly entertaining in the background while you EV train yourself right now. Like the video if it was, it helps me out a ton. Dislike if not, it's always encouraged. Genuine feedback is really appreciated. Subscribing to the channel if you want to see daily Pokemon videos. We counted it yesterday on stream. I've uploaded something like 55 videos in the past 11 days. Goto has been quite the busy season. Uh, check out streams linked down below on Twitch as well. Usually Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. ET. I'm a little late today after recording this video. Discord is down below for updates on all my streams. If you ever see me not live or piece of my content is maybe off let me know in the discord uh, and if you want to go above and beyond and support my content if my content has helped you out enough throughout your pokemon journey to warrant it and you can afford it youtube memberships twitch primes twitch subs and most importantly paypal slash venmo donations do go the farthest by far so thank you so much for watching have a great day and hopefully you get some cool shinies while ev training some cool pokemon peace Hey, thank you so much for watching until the very end of the video. Hopefully it was a positive asset on your day in some way. And thank you to everyone's name who's on this list, who is a massive positive asset to my day every single day. I appreciate you all. Thank you for going above and beyond and allowing me to do what I do.